Hi guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Today I created this gold eyeshadow look for you inspired by the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow palette. She also created a look similar to this on her channel and I wanted to play with these colors. This um, tutorial today is focused more on the eyeshadow. It's like an in-depth eyeshadow tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, please new look. Hey, dreadlocks rasta <laughs> okay guys so i did my base off camera i used my fenty beauty foundation and my um Too faced multi-use multi-sculpt concealer and i'm using that same concealer as a base to my eyeshadow i am using a damp beauty sponge and i'm blending that in so that it is even Then I'm going in with some translucent powder and I'm setting that base so that the shadows that I lay over top will go on smoothly. Using that same translucent powder, I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes to catch any fallout that may occur while I apply the shadow since I did my base first. If you do your base last, you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm moving into the Armed and Gorgeous palette and I'm grabbing these two shades, Access and Agent. And I'm applying that on a Morphe 4, M441 brush. I'm, I tapped the excess off and I'm going in my transition area. My transition, The transition area is the area between your crease and your brow bone. It's the first color that you lay down before you apply any other shadows over top. It just helps all the other shadows that you're going to apply to transition. Hence the reason transition nicely into a beautiful gradient. So I'm blending that back and forth in windshield wiper motions until I get the color payoff that I'm looking for. So I'm going back and forth windshield wiper and I'm bringing that excess up to my brow bones. Then I switch my brush. I'm using a smaller, denser brush because I want to get deep into my crease now. And I'm using that color Secure. Tapping off the excess. Make sure you always tap off the excess. And I'm tapping that shadow from the corner of my eyes. Tapping to get that pigment there. And I'm dragging it inwards on my lids and into my crease. Into that first transition shade that we applied. And again, I'm doing this until I get the color pale that I'm looking for. Remember, tap, then I'm bringing it into my lids, into my crease, and I'm blending everything together. Now I'm going back in with that first brush that we started with nothing on it, but I'm blending these two together to get rid of any harshness or any harsh lines that may have been created then i'm using a chanel shadow brush and i'm using the color girl trip i'm um getting the color on that brush and i'm damping my brush with some setting spray this helps the color to be more metallic and vibrant and sticks to your lids better and i'm using that fluffy uh, shadow brush because i do not want to create a very defined crease i want something more blown out and effortless looking I'm applying that as close to my crease as possible and you guys I am going in with um, the other color coin and I'm doing that same thing and I'm putting that in the outer corners of my eyes and I'm bringing it dragging it into the other color so that it can be blended and i am tapping that color on i'm not just going and swiping i'm tapping and pulling to get that the, the um color on there then i'm going back with that um second shade we use secure on that same brush and i'm just applying it again in the crease to mesh these two colors together now i'm using vip's very very white um color and i'm doing that same thing 
dampen my brush i'm using a smaller pencil brush and i'm brightening the inner corners of my eyes and slightly dragging it into that gold color I'm just going back in with that brush to perfect it and blend those two together. Now I'm grabbing that color Prowl. It's sort of a darkest brown. And I'm using a flat definer brush from Morphe. Again, it's a Morphe day. I love Morphe. And I'm putting that very close to my lash line to create a smoky effect. And for prep for lashes later. Then I'm dusting the, all the excess powder off because I don't need it anymore. I'm using that same color that I highlight my inner corners with and I'm applying that to my brow bone with a um, medium sized shadow brush. And I'm going to go in with a, a denser brush to buff that in because it's a very white eyeshadow. I don't really like the whiteness of it, but I like it. Using a shadow brush, I'm applying the color Secure. That's the color that I use in my crease underneath my shadow. On Sorry, underneath my lower lash line. And I'm blending it pretty low because I love the smoked out bottom lash. If you don't like it, you don't have to do that. But I like the look of it. Then going in with that green top secret and I'm using a Coastal Scents Definer brush and I'm starting from my outer corners and bringing that color inwards. And again, I'm going to be applying that until I get the color payoff that I want. Because you guys, colors don't just um, be pigmented on your first application. You have to apply it a couple of times to get the, the payout of the color that you're actually seeing in the palette. And excuse my shots because I have to get very, very personal to my mirror to be, I don't want to be poking my eyes, so I'm so sorry. And I'm just using a small pencil brush and I'm blending the edges of that with the first color that I applied together. It's a lot of work, but to get a good look, you have to, you have to do it because I mean, you just have to do it. There's no, there's no escape. You have to do it. Then finally, I'm going in with my L'Oreal Silk Kiss Me uh, Green I forgot the name, but I'm applying that in my waterline just to create some contrast and to bring a little more color to the look. And that's the f that's the end of this tutorial. Very short and sweet. So I hope you enjoyed it. I went on and I added lashes, kiss lashes. They're so nice. I completed the rest of my face and that's the look. So I hope you love it. Try it. Tag me in it bye okay guys this is a completed look like i said it's basically mostly was about the eyeshadow and these lashes are so beautiful they are the kiss um so wispy number three i love them i love them i love them you should get your hands on it so thank you so so much for watching and if you want to see me create more looks like this always subscribe like share and comment comment what you want to see me do here on youtube again thank you for watching